Hi all. Today in this session we will check how to use a few more components like a T3 job and T47 talent jobs. So these two jobs are mostly frequently used uh, components in almost each and every talent job. So let's see how these two components are being used. So before that let me just give you one uh, particular use case. So suppose say the file comes to my input directory. So this is my input directory and this is the uh, file that I have that is employee.txt and the data here is employee id, employee first name and employee last name. So this is my source data. So whenever the file is arrival, so first that file need to be uh, copied to the archive so that I will have a, a copy of it into this archive and then I need to use this particular file and process it and the processed data need to be moved to the output folder and once the processing is completed the data that is available the file that is available in this employee.txt need to be removed so my actual process uh, is the file need to be moved from input to output that is my actual work but there are few prerequisite so before i start the activity the data the file from input need to be copied to the archive and one that is being one activity that is post uh, post completion of uh, this output file post uh, con conversion of the input file into the output file is once all the processing is completed after that at the last what it will be doing it will be removing this file from this input so the pre job pre activity is it will be copying the data into archive and the post activity of the transformation after all the transformation is done is it will be moving the data it will be uh, removing the data from this input so to ac accommodate this we will be using the components like t3 job and t post job so let me create the job first t3 job before that so what we need, uh, my actual activity is I need to move the data from input to the output, tr transform the data from input to the output. So let me first bring that data from input to the output. So this is my file. And it is the employee.txt file. Then I'll be using a T map. I'll connect this with that. And then I'll have an output T output diluter. So here my, tra my transformation need to be done. So whatever the data I have in my source, I will be migrating everything to the target. And on top of that, I'll have an extra column that is employee full name. For me. So what it will be basically it will be the concatenation of first name and the last name. So this is my first name. Then concatenation I'll be using plus. I'll put a space and then the last name. Okay. And my data it need to be created in the output directory so the file need to be created in this output directory so 
and it will be created as output.csv and let me make it comma diluted okay so let me execute this particular set of command job first So you can see uh, there are four records in my source. There are four records in my source and those four records got transformed and it has been placed in the output directory. So, so here it is placed in the output directory. Here I have the full name. So this is our uh, activity that we have done. But what we need to do before we start the processing, the file need to be copied to the archive. And after the processing is completed, the file need to be removed from this input directory. So for this, so before I start the processing, so before I do this particular activity, I need to copy the file into the archive. So anything that we need to execute as a prerequisite, for that we will be using T pre job. So here what we'll be doing, I need to copy the uh, file into the archive. So I'll be using T file copy. And I'll attach this pre job with this on, on component. OK. So anything, any component that is attached to T pre job means one before executing the actual uh, job, it will execute all the components that are attached to the T pre job. So here, let me modify the things, the file name. Let me modify the file name. So this is my file and uh, it need to be copied to which directory to the archive directory. So I have placed this to the archive directory. Okay. And uh, let me execute this piece of the once again. And let's see if it is working fine or not. Here I need to check this particular option. Yeah, I'll be unchecking this because I already have the file uh, existing. So I want to recreate that file. So I'll be unchecking this one. And I will be including a header here. Now let me run this job. So if you see here, first this T file copy got uh, executed. Then after the completion of T file copy, this particular set of job got executed. Now let me check if the file is available in this archive or not. Yeah, so the file is now copied to the archive. The file is also available in the input and the file is created in the output as well. It got created recently. Now, let me do one more activity. Let me remove this file from this archive. And let me remove this particular file from the output as well. So after the completion of the processing, what I need to do, the before processing, the file need to be copied to the archive. And after processing, the file need to be removed from here. So for that, after processing, what I need to do, I need to use T post job. What does this T post job do? T pre job means before executing the actual command, T pre any component that is connected to T pre job should get executed. So once this gets executed, then the actual job will be executed. Then T pre post job is once the once the completion of uh, the job, 
any component that is attached to T post of need to be executed. So it might be the case that if suppose say there are three components here and the job is failing at T map, T map function. So even if there is a failure, it is mandatory that the T post job will be executed. Even if the job is successful or it is failing, any component that is attached to T post job will get executed. So let me use P file delete. And let me modify the properties for this T file delete. So which file I need to delete? The input directory file. So I need to select that particular file. Okay. Yeah. And uh, let's let me add T sleep component just to give some gap between. Uh, before executing, before uh, means after the creation of the file and before deleting this uh, source file, I want to create some uh, buffer. So let me use this on component. Okay, I'll be using T slip. So I want after creation of this particular output file, I want the process to sleep for 30 seconds, suppose say 20 seconds. And once this t, 20, after 20 seconds, T pre job should be executed. So let me uh, use one more T slip. Here also, so that once the file is copied, it will sleep for, I'll set it for 10 seconds. So what uh, what the function uh, what the job will be doing? First, this set of job will uh, components will be executed. So first of all, the source file from the input need to be copied to the archive, and then it will sleep. It will wait for 10 seconds. It will sleep for 10 seconds. Then this set of code will be executing where the file will be moved to the archive. Then again, it will sleep for 10 seconds. Then this particular uh, delete uh, component will be executed. Now let me run this job. So now you can see this got executed and this got executed. Now the sleep is working. In the meantime, let me check the file. Now the file in archive got created, but in output, the file is still. So just now it got created because we were, uh, we have provided the sleep uh, for around 10 seconds. Now it is, it is executing this sleep command. Once that is completed, it uh, this T file delete will be executed. So now it got completed. Now let's check if we have the file in this delete in this input folder or not. So the file from this input folder got deleted. So this is how we will be using uh, T job, T pre job, and T post job. So in this session, we checked a few more uh, components as well like uh, how to use T pre job, how to use T post job, uh, what is the use of T file copy, T file delete, as well as T slip. I hope this session is helpful. If it is helpful, then please like and share the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.